One ordinary white button-up shirt styled many, many ways. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Shapura and I believe that when you feel good, you look good. So on this channel, I show you how to take fashion and use it as a tool to help you look and feel your best. So if you watched my last video about how to style a denim jacket according to your style, you know that there are so many things you can do with one ordinary piece of clothing. Oftentimes when we are thinking about wearing a button down shirt, we think about wearing it like this, like this, or even like this. When actually there are so many different ways. In fact, the way you style the shirt can look vastly different according to your style. In the last video, so many people pointed out that they fit into many different categories. And I wanted to challenge you a little bit and ask you if you had to choose one category to wear for the rest of your life, which one would it be? I'm assuming that that category is the one that you are most dominant in and the other categories that you relate to are things that you use when you are in a pinch. So while watching this video, try to think which one you'd wear for the rest of your life, if you had to. The cool girl is going to make this white shirt look very effortless, right? She is going to probably pair it with some jeans and a hat, a very cool and different type of white button up. Now, while it is half a shirt and it has less buttons, it still buttons up and it still counts. Okay. But the way she styled this white button up with a cap and some straight leg jeans, if you notice the sleeves on the shirt are undone or they might even come like that, but they're not tight around your wrist. Right. And then she has this pop of color of this beautiful red bag that really adds to the overall cool girl look. It looks like I thought about it, but not really. This is just what I have in my closet, just like most cool girl outfits. So the hat can be found anywhere at this point. We know that I'm sure I'm showing you one right now. It's probably a Yankee fitted the jeans at this point. Obviously you have to go with what makes you feel feel good. I actually found these from Anacrombie, their curve line. I have not tried these yet, but I've heard great things about it. If you have tried them, please let me know. I'm looking for a perfect pair of jeans, but what really helps bring this whole look together, right? Is the, the shirt. It's not just a normal button down shirt. So this one from Forever 21 will give you a very similar vibe, right? But if you want a similar look, but don't want to show midriff, this one from Banana Republic is giving you the same vibe, but also giving you a little more coverage. I know we just talked about the Anna Crombie curve, um, straight jeans, but these also from H and M are a fabulous option to go with this look. And with a red purse, the possibilities are very endless. If you want to go designer, of course, there's that option. If you want to go contemporary designer, of course you have many, many options. I've showed you guys this one from coach before, but I'm going to show it to you again because it is on sale and I think it will look very good, but not only for the cool girl outfit, but with a lot of different types of outfits and it's on sale. So like that's the best part, <laughs> but also this bag from coach this bag from coach and this bag from coach all work. I'm really realizing that those that are considered cool girl in their style really love a juxtaposition of feminine and masculine. So if this is your style or if this is a style that you would like to have and you're trying to perfect, really look at the differences and balancing masculine and feminine. Everything that I found that, that I believe is cool girl kind of has that balance. And even here, the feminine cut of the shirt and then the masculine baseball cap, very even, extremely balance and usually that equals the cool girl. So the playful girl really has my heart. I am not the playful girl, but I really love the freeness that comes with the person who doesn't really take fashion too seriously, wears fun purses and fun colors and crazy sunglasses. They are just a pleasure to be around. So how I believe the playful girl would style a white button down would have to be with something colorful. 
This beautiful pair of colorful pants with this gorgeous pattern is really screaming playful. If she would have had some outrageous sunglasses on or over the top bag, it would have really shouted playful, but this is like a quiet playful outfit. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Chances are, if you fall into this category, you probably have like some really fun pants that are checkerboard or bright yellow, or they have flowers on them, or they, they probably have daisies. I see sometimes that because the playful girl loves bright colors and patterns is that sometimes she can do a lot. And quite honestly, if you want to do a lot and that makes you feel beautiful, by all means, please wear that. But if you are the playful girl and are nervous to step into your playfulness, pairing something beautiful like these pants with a white shirt helps it to be a little more palatable, right? It eases you into your playfulness. You get what you really, really like, but also is easy to digest. ASOS has so many fun, different types of pants. These I think are beautiful. These are a fabulous option. These are for the playful girl who also has a little bit of chic in her. And these are for the girl that's gonna go all out because she loves her color and her pattern. So if you feel like you're the playful girl, you're not quite sure how to step into that playfulness, start by a fun skirt, a fun pair of pants, fun shoes, and pair it with a regular degular white button up. This is a very interesting outfit to me because I see a lot of trendy and I see a lot of chic in this outfit. I classified this as trendy simply because of the shoes and also the glasses and most definitely because of the denim skirt that is very trendy right now. I also see this as chic though because of the shapes that are in this outfit, the shape of the skirt. The fabric of the shirt is not just a normal button down, it is satin, I believe, right? So I see a clear mix of trendy and chic, which is a very interesting mix. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I like it. <laughs> I definitely, definitely like it. I love a bit of chicness in everything. And this is extremely easy to recreate. If you're looking for an affordable option for this kind of shirt, you can look at ASOS. ASOS has so much, it's kind of crazy. Obviously H&M has an option. And if you want something that's a little more quality, try this one from Banana Republic. There are plenty of options just for printed heels. Like we talked about in the other video, the classic girl doesn't care anything about trends. Her fashion life <laughs> is really consistent of mixing and matching classics in her wardrobe. So a white button down is something that she has several of. And this outfit is really just not gonna date, right? You could change the accessories, maybe in a few years the accessories would be dated, but there's nothing about this outfit that's going to look horrible at any point in time. It's just not. So this is always gonna be easy to find. The classic girl already has plenty of these shirts in her closet, so we're really just going to focus on the accessories, just the bag really, <laughs> and the skirt. And I found some beautiful options from French Connection and ASOS. The classic girl loves a top handle bag and it is necessary in her wardrobe. This one she's holding is Fendi and I think it's a beautiful option. But if you want something that is this color, top handled and a little cheaper, this one from Michael Kors would do the trick. And this one from Coach Outlet is another beautiful, beautiful option. Video, we talked about how the fashion girl is going to do her thing, right? She knows about trends, but she doesn't always follow them. She does a lot of vintage shopping. She makes her own clothes. She knows the trends, but she does not care if she is on style or in style, excuse me, or not. She's going to wear what she likes. She is the trend set her, at least in her head. So what's very interesting about this outfit 
is that it looks like she could have distressed these shorts by herself. It looked like it could have been a DIY project where she had an old pair of jeans from a thrift store and she just totally did this all by herself, right? But if you are the fashion girl, but you are not the crafty girl, I found some shorts that look very similar. These from Free People are giving almost the same exact vibe, right? The details that make this outfit are very clear. A lot of the white collar shirts we've been seeing now are oversized. This one is not as oversized as we've been seeing, which makes for a different look. So the details in this outfit is what you want to draw out of this for inspiration. So this was actually interesting to find now because everything is so oversized and in this outfit you need something that's closer to the body. I found this from The Gap and this one from ASOS. I will say that if you prefer a oversized shirt, oversized white button up, I feel like that will still look equally as good with these distressed shorts if you like this style. She's also carrying a gray clutch, but to update that a little bit into spring 2023, you can try this metallic one from All Saints. With the chic look, I wanna give two different examples um, because I feel like there's one very popular look that people that are chic are wearing right now. And then I think there's another option that's not giving 90s mom. Not that I think that anything is wrong with 90s mom, but I feel like right now in social media, chic is only being portrayed in one way. So the first way I kind of feel that chic is being portrayed is this look. You have your wide leg flowy pants. You have the white shirt, of course, because that's what we're talking about today. And then you have the sweater over your shoulder. Now, don't get me wrong. I have worn something similar to this with my own spin on it. So I don't think it's a horrible outfit. I do, however, feel that there are other ways to be chic. So the other example that I kind of want to give is this one from Sincerely Jewels. This has been posted on my Pinterest for a very long time. It is not an overly special outfit. In fact, the simplicity of it is what's really making me love it. My absolute favorite part about the chic girl is the simplicity that comes along with it. Chic really says to me, not overdone. It really says to me, effortless, but also effervescent. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And extremely easy to recreate with a lot of things I'm sure you already have in your closet. If you don't have a black bag or the Bottega bag, you know you could get a dupe of this Bottega bag anywhere at this point. If you don't have the Hermes Orion sandals, you know where to go. You know our guy, Steve Madden. We spoke about this before. You could get something that looks very much like these Hermes Orion sandals. The linen shirt, I get mine from H&M. I get one every year, um, which is probably not the best. I probably need to invest in a better linen shirt. It's not the fact that she wore it, it's the way that she styled it. It gave it shape. In fact, I'm not sure if this is linen, this might be cotton, but it's really the way that she styled it. It's not all the way buttoned up, she's showing a little skin, it's tucked in, it's oversized. It's just very, very effortless chic, and I love this. a lot of the difference between the chic girl and the glam girl is the sparkle, right? I see myself and my style most in the chic girl and the glam girl, but the notable difference is the shine and the sparkliness. I chose this as an example for the glam girl, mainly because of the satin skirt. This easily could have been a chic girl, right? But the satin skirt paired with the sparkly jewelry gives it a little more glam than it does chic. I feel like the chic girl will just have gold on. The glam girl is gonna look for diamonds. <laughs> the glam girl is gonna go with something a little extra. And I love this. And it is so easy to recreate. ASOS, Topshop, J. Crew all have great options for a satin slip skirt. Also notice she did the same thing that Sincerely Jules did um, with her chic look and she brought in the middle. So it's just not flapping in the wind, right? She gave shape to the shirt. Sincerely Jules tucked hers in. This woman tied it.
this woman looks like she has a house on Martha's Vineyard <laughs> or maybe the Hamptons. Either one, she is giving us preppy vibes all the way. And what I've noticed is that people that have this preppy style do a lot of layering, whether if it's with a vest or a blazer, this particular woman layered with a sweater. The preppy style is almost never oversized, but it's definitely never too glitz and glamoury. The preppy girl loves buttons. She definitely has several of these white shirts, just like the classic girl. She just styles it a bit differently. So if you're this girl, the brown riding boot is probably already in your closet. But if not, these from Ralph Lauren, these from Sam Edelman, and these from Franco Serrato would do the trick. I'm also noticing that the preppy girl, like the classic girl, likes a top handle bag. This Coach Willis is to die for, beautiful, and it's just perfect for preppy girl style, amongst others. It's definitely perfect for this style. Paired with some black skinny jeans or tights, the white shirt, and a sweater, you got yourself a little Martha's Vineyards <laughs> or Hamptons look. I really believe that it is extremely important to hone in on your own style. There are so many influences and influencers out there, right? Um, that are showcasing our own style, but might not necessarily be yours. And one of the reasons why I wanted to do a video like this, as opposed to showing you how I would wear a jacket, is because you and I might not have the same style. There truly is a psychology behind looking good and feeling good. So what I wear that makes me feel good is not gonna make you feel good. Now, while I do believe there is a place for styling videos that I will do, and in fact, I am making room in my content calendar um, for more Instagram and more reels and more shorts um, for the way I would style things. It's important for you to know before you look at any influencer so that you could pick and choose and grab what is good for you. For those that are new here, I have done my research, okay? <laughs> I not only research my own about fashion and psychology and dressing, in fact, one of the most recent books I've read is this book, um, Dress Your Best Life. It's really about the psychology of dressing and how you look and all that beautiful stuff. So not only have I done that and done my own research, I also went to college for several things. I went to FIT, which I did fashion. Um, I went to school to be an educator. And I also went to college for counseling, right? Though that sounds like that doesn't match, it all really kind of goes together for my channel. Hopefully I'm teaching you something. Hopefully I'm helping you find yourself. And hopefully I'm showing you some fabulous, fabulous fashion options. One of you all called me or this channel, the Oprah of fashion, and I'm loving it. I'm going to have to like put that in somewhere, my tagline, <laughs> something, because that's what I want to try to convey. I want you to feel good. I want you to look good and I want you to be fashionable according to what you love. Anyway, you guys, I have so much more to say on this topic, but I won't bore you. We've done so much right now. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I will see you in my next video.